Hare Krishna, welcome to our show Ask a Hare Krishna. Today we have a special guest to answer your questions. Please welcome His Holiness Bhakti Brihad Bhagwat Swami. Bhakti Brihad Bhagwat Swami, a former educationalist, joined the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in Durban, South Africa in 1983. He travels internationally preaching and teaching Krishna Consciousness in his concentres, yoga centres, schools and colleges and various universities. He also currently serves as the chairman of the Mayapur University Executive Board, which is working towards establishing an international university in Sridham Mayapur, ISKCON's world headquarters. Let's start our show with the first question. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Danvat Pranam. This is Adarsh from Pune. Prabhuji, my question is related to karma. In your previous lecture on mind management, you told that mind has previous birth impressions which comes in this life as recollections. So is there any relationship between karmic result and previous impressions? Does this impressions make us to do things in a certain way that we get particular karmic reactions? Hare Krishna. Karma and karmic reactions. The word karma indicates action and the word karma also indicates a reaction and sometimes uh, people may question uh, how we act now is it due to past impressions and past activities from the present life and from a previous life the answer is yes and his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness used to also quote uh, from Christian theology that as you sow, uh, so shall you reap. So therefore, yes, uh, whatever we are doing presently and whatever reactions we are expecting or going through in the present time is due to our past actions from the previous lives and from the present life. So therefore, the question should be more now of how we can stop karmic reactions. Krishna states in Bhagavad Gita in the 18th chapter, Sarva Dhamam Parityagya Mamaikam Saranam Vraja Aham Tvam Sarva Papibhyo Mokshayas Yami Ma Suchaha That Krishna is saying directly that uh, if we uh, leave away or abandon all varieties of mundane religions and actions, Sarva Dhamman Parit Yagya, then Ma may come, Saranam Vraja. And when we surrender to Krishna, then Aham Tvam Sarva Papabhya, that Krishna himself will stop us from not experiencing our karmic reactions or rather papabhyo, sinful reactions. And Krishna himself states in the last line, Moksha Yasyami Masuchaha. We will become free. We will become liberated from the reactions of our past activities, whether good or bad, whether punya or pap. That means whether sinful or not sinful. So in that way that Krishna is giving the guarantee that uh, we will not suffer our sinful reactions indicates that we should surrender to Krishna. And by surrendering to Krishna, we will not have this anxiety. We will not be too much worried. Ma suchaha. Krishna will take care of that. And in that way, we will be free while living in this material world by surrendering to Krishna and taking to the process of Krishna Consciousness which begins with chanting Radha Krishna's names Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರ್ ಅಗರ್ವಾಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎ ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಲ್ಕತಾ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೀ ನೇಚರ್ಸ್ of uh, we beyond three gunas of nature three modes of nature and uh, we are situated in shuddha sattva and we are very happy there then why do we have to fall down to this material world bhautik jagat and uh, this question comes up props up quite frequently we do not have any answer so if you could highlight some points regarding this thank you hari krishna hari krishna The question often comes up that how is it that we were once happy and blissful in the spiritual world and now we have fallen into this material world. So how did we fall into this material world? There are two analogies that can be given. Now before I proceed with the analogy, an analogy is relative to our material experience. and it can be very crude crude means it has a, a definitive beginning and definitive ending in the analogy so that means we cannot go further and discuss the analogy in the next feature of it because that's in that way it is crude so the first analogy is that a mother is uh, cooking in the kitchen and the little daughter was about 3 years of age is watching the mother cooking in the kitchen and while watching the mother cooking in the kitchen the little girl also want to do the same activity although she is just 3 years of age now we cannot take the analogy further where the little girl will also become a mother in later years as she grows up we have to stop the analogy just that she is the daughter 3 years old So the ma- so the mother while cooking in the kitchen is being observed by the little daughter and then the daughter approaches the mother mama i also want to cook now the mother very well knows that the little girl if she starts cooking you know she may get burnt or she may spoil things in the kitchen so the mother tells the little daughter no Now, you will not cook today but you will cook tomorrow morning and the little girl is satisfied see so during the day after the mother finishes the cooking in the kitchen she takes the little girl to a toy shop and she tells the little girl my dear daughter can you please choose your kitchen you know equipment and utensils and so forth so the little girl buys her toys you know a, a kitchen utensils and a toy stove and so forth so then all that comes home the next morning the mother calls the little daughter that you want to cook oh yes i want to cook and i have my own things for my own kitchen so the mother creates a space in the real kitchen and creates the imitation kitchen for the little girl so the little girl is happy imitating the mother and imitating that she is cooking in a imitation kitchen within the sphere or space of the real kitchen so after the little girl cooks for about say 20 minutes she becomes a little bit bored and she realizes that she is not the mother and she is imitating the mother in a imitation kitchen and she goes to the real mother as the real daughter and says mata i'm still your daughter So the mother pacifies her, yes, you're my daughter, and she embraces the daughter. So in the same way, when we see Krishna as the supreme enjoyer in the spiritual world, we feel, what will it be like to be like Krishna? So then Krishna himself, 
he creates the imitation world within the real world just as the mother created the imitation kitchen within the real kitchen and then we come to this imitation world within the real world and try to imitate krishna as the supreme enjoyer so that's one analogy or example given by his divine grace ac bhaktivedan the swami prabhupad but i paraphrased it more with more detail now another example can be given is that the son is with the father in the room they have not moved anywhere but the son is going through a nightmare or bad dream now is the son with the father the answer is yes because they both in the same room but in consciousness the son is not with the father because he is experiencing a bad dream a nightmare see so he is with the father but consciously in the bad dream is not with the father so he has not left the father but at the same time he has left the father because he is experiencing a bad dream or nightmare now the question can be asked is the father with the son the answer is yes is the father with the son when the son is experiencing a bad dream yes is the father with the son when the son is not in a dream yes so the father is always with the son but the son is always with the father but when he is experiencing a bad dream he is not with the father so in the same way Uh, krishna is always with us but when we experience the dream of being in the material world we are not consciously with krishna but at the same time we have not left krishna so the father will accompany the son whether he is in the dream like state and not with the father still the father will accompany the son and not leave him so krishna never ever leaves us whether we in the dream in the material world or whether we in the reality with him in the spiritual world so that's how we try to leave krishna but at the same time krishna never leaves us at the same time krishna may jolt us out of this bad dream of the material world through the instructions of the bhagavad gita and through the pastimes of the lord in shrimad bhagavatam and shri chaitanya charitamrita so when we take to the process of krishna consciousness which is called sadhana bhakti or the practice of krishna consciousness we slowly transition of being in the dream like state of the material world into the spiritual world and being again with krishna and that transitional stage given in the scriptures is called hare nama hare nam hare nam ev kevalam kalo nasteva 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 gatir anyata so the basis of transitioning from the dream like state of the material world into the reality of the spiritual world is to chant the holy names of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 Krishna Prabhu uh, my question is in Bhagavad Gita it is said that uh, we should always do our karma as if we are providing service to Lord Shri Krishna but uh, what if the service we are providing to the person uh, is not respecting it and is taking taking it for granted so should we keep on or should we continue providing him the service or we should just leave it to karma thank you Hare Krishna uh, the question uh, may come up that what is a karma yoga and at the same time what is a prescribed duties that take one out of the reaction of karma yoga uh, at times uh, when we meet people in india especially uh, and they may be uh, benefactors or they may be persons who are giving us uh, donations uh, to uh, to maintain our temple 
and also to help spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. So those persons sometimes may say that you know you are doing your bhakti yoga and I am doing my karma yoga. So by my karma yoga you can be able to do your bhakti yoga because by my donations you are able to do your bhakti and you are able to maintain your temple and you are also able to do your deity worship and also you are able to spread krishna consciousness with our money that we give you see so therefore they may have the understanding or maybe not a complete understanding which is nice that we are dependent on their donations and without their donations we cannot really do what activities we are doing in bhakti yoga so therefore they express themselves i am doing my karma yoga and you are doing your bhakti yoga but your bhakti yoga activities is dependent on my karma yoga for you to give donations of what money that i earn now that may be true to a greater or lesser extent but krishna says in bhagavad gita bhaktaram yagya tapasam sarva loke maheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam gatva maam shantam richati that krishna says that i am the beneficiary of all activities whether one is a devotee or whether one is not a practicing devotee or whether one is a well wisher or one is a principal donor to our movement in other words every one activity the beneficiary is krishna bhaktaram yagya tapasam and why krishna is the beneficiary because sarve loke maheshwaram he owns everything everything belongs to krishna so krishna does not really need anything from us krishna does not really need any of our services also because everything belongs to krishna but we need to serve krishna we need to offer contributions to krishna we need to do that so that we can serve and please krishna so when we serve and please krishna then we more and more realize that krishna is suridam sarvabhutanam that krishna is our best friend krishna is our supreme protector krishna is our best 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 eternally well wisher then when we realize more and more that krishna is suridam sarva bhutanam then we will feel gatva maam shantam richati then we will feel peaceful internally and as we all very well know that everyone is looking for happiness now there's no question of actually being happy if there's no question of internal peace so when we feel internally peaceful gatva maam shantam richati by more and more realizing that krishna is our suridam best friend and well wisher then we will come to understand yes our donations uh, for the krishna consciousness movement to maintain the temple and to spread krishna consciousness and our service in bhakti yoga as well and our services in karma yoga is actually for krishna's pleasure and the real result of all this is that we will feel shantim gatva maam shantam richati so that peace that we will receive as a result of contributing for the cause of spreading krishna consciousness can never be bought can never be purchased by all the wealth in this world and it can never be bought and purchased even of the treasury of kuvera of the demigods so therefore that is the real thing the real thing is that even if you are doing your karma yoga and we are doing our bhakti yoga the real thing is the result is that we will feel internal peace and from that internal peace will come all sense of eternal bliss and ecstasy of the spiritual world in krishna consciousness jai shri krishna my question is i have completed my engineering but at the other side i have an interest in singing and want to live a spiritual life 
but i could not able to find out my way so can you please give some suggestion to me so from that i can find my way and go through it thank you hare krishna education in the material world is important uh, so that we can uh, eventually earn some income to get basic food uh, clothing and shelter so generally in india uh, many people uh, attend engineering colleges and after they get the engineering degree then they become satisfied that they can get a suitable job so that they can get basic food clothing and shelter needs met which is good that means we have to keep the body and soul together without keeping the body healthy and without giving it sufficient food clothing and shelter one will be feeling a poverty streak so krishna consciousness means that one should not be poverty streak one should have basic food clothing and shelter so that is where there's an emphasis on education so that we can get a proper job and get the proper means of income to get basic food clothing and shelter however at the same time bhagavad gita says chatur vanam maya shristam guna karma vibhaga sah that krishna is saying that along with all these things comes our guna guna means we have certain strengths we have certain favorabilities we have certain uh, ways of things that we are inclined to do better in and one of those things may be that we like singing see and when we like singing how can we dovetail that quality that we have a strength in to like singing according to our karma how can we take that quality of singing and engage it from guna to karma in some particular activity so in that way we can sing uh, for the pleasure of the lord and we can also give classes or tuition in singing to others to sing for the pleasure of the lord and the basic mantra the maha mantra that is encapsulates all other mantras to glorify the lord lord in singing is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so together with having basic needs met of food clothing and shelter in one sense on the other sense of the scale there should be some spiritual balance material balance and spiritual balance so when we sing for the pleasure of the lord the hare krishna maha mantra when we sing for the pleasure of the lord bhajans that glorify krishna and glorify the devotees of the lord then this perfect material and spiritual balance is met and one will be equally satisfied spiritually and one will also be equally equally satisfied materially now how to go about this uh, one should associate with other devotees who are already singing and chanting the glories of the lord so go to the association of devotees and inquire from them how you can use your talent of singing use your talent of writing use your talent of speaking use your talent of performing arts in other ways and create that perfect balance between material and spiritual so we welcome you please come to the congregation of devotees in our respective hari krishna temples and do it as soon as you can so you can dovetail this wonderful talent that you have of singing or writing or speaking or other talents that you may be good at and develop it for the pleasure of the lord when you give pleasure to radha and krishna automatically you'll get unlimited pleasure and in that way in your inclinations will be fully met and you'll be fully satisfied internally and also be fully satisfied externally provided you are doing it in the association of devotees so once again hare krishna 
हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इज द बेस्ट वे टू एंगेज योर टैलेंट ऑफ सिंगिंग इन ग्लोरीफाइंग एंड प्लीजिंग श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण सो दिस ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ दिस शो If you wish to ask any spiritual questions then kindly WhatsApp your question as audio or video clips to 9987060606 or you can also email us at askhktv@gmail.com your questions will be answered by our experts thank you very much hari krishna <laughs>